Seeing a Cuban speaking on his cell phone is still an unusual sight in the streets of La Habana. Two months ago, Cubans were allowed for the very first time to own a cell phone. Cuba Cell, Cuba's one and only cell phone operator, has less than 10,000 subscribers. Why so few? Mainly because of prohibitive communication costs. My phone works with $10 prepaid cards. My credit runs out after five minutes. It's so fast, I don't even have time to talk to my sister who lives in Canada. In Cuba, the average monthly salary is about 20 US dollars. So most Cubans who own a cell don't rely on this to pay for their bill. Cubans who have a cell phone are having it paid by their family from abroad. Otherwise, they just couldn't afford it. Anyway, that's the way I think they do it. But as they await long overdue economic reforms, owning a cell phone is far from being top priority for the Cuban people. Yes, having free access to cell phones was something Cubans needed, but that's far from being enough. The government must grant us more freedom so that we can choose what we want to do. More freedom. That's also the recurrent statement from the longtime enemy from next door. Last May, U.S. President George W. Bush allowed his fellow citizens to send cell phones to Cuba, arguing this would facilitate communication between the two countries. The problem is, American cells operate on a different system and do not work in Cuba. This woman, whose husband is working in Miami, has received one of these cells. My husband sent this phone from the United States so that we could talk often, but the SIM card doesn't work here. I don't have enough money to unlock it, and if I did, I would have to open an account in Cuba. So this phone is totally useless. In other words, Washington has lost the first round in this battle of the cell phones. But the majority of Cubans are worlds away from this media stir. They believe the winds of change won't be coming from the U.S., but from Cuba itself. Cubans can only count on themselves. They're the ones who will decide what they want for the future based on their daily needs. But for the time being, Cubans keep on patiently waiting for change. Right now, they don't want to rock the boat.